feel so passionate about hair. <laughs> yeah, let's make a series on how to learn to make a wig by yourself. I suppose if you have come across this video, then uh, you've been researching this topic like I did. I'm still doing. Well, basically, I've been into hair dessert, hair dressing for 13 years. I loved hair since I know myself. And in the past year, I had the news that I can't be in a salon anymore because I am allergic on color. So I decided I really want to learn how to make wigs. I've been following one of the big people in the industry on Instagram, of course, and and I've been like researching this for the past two years but i've never had the courage to do anything about it until recently i was uh, participating in a giveaway for a uh, big doctor uk wow they're amazing what they do with their wigs and i was so manifesting about it and i was like i'm so gonna win it i was like on nerve for the whole week while that it was happening when they announced the winner i was like it's not me what i did next day I went into my storage unit where I bought like millions and stuff of things for wig making and never bothered to start anything. I came across my book and to all other hundred things, but it's Melanie Bouet, A Practical Guide to Wig Making and Wig Dressing. It basically has like all the basics you need, so I thought, well, why not to try to learn how to make a wig from a book? Let's make this in series. I think my struggle and my learning point could help you as well in uh, doing so. I got this book at least I think a half year ago. I've read it through and of course it was just reading like mm, yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, yeah, looking at it. But now reading it through like two, three times, I realized that it's very easy to understand. And if you have some kind of experience already to that, it's not an art to do it. At the moment I'm unemployed. The courses that I wanted, so the one giveaway, it costs about four thousand pounds, which is about I don't know the exchange, but in in kroners in Norway where I'm at, it's around it could be around forty-four thousand kroners. Can't afford that. Well, I can choose to learn it myself, right? Because there is no right or wrong way. I have the guidance here. And if I'm gonna invent something crazier after that and better maybe i can improve the industry overall it has 10 chapters it has a nice wig history a very interesting thing that i found out is that uh, you know that i always thought cleopatra has really nice hair but it turns out in the egypt time well in the egyptian you know era they already were wearing wigs and it was like you know a thing of a high society in norway past century in the 70s so 1970 around that if you own the wig you had to pay tax to the government so that straight away assumes that wigs classified as a high level people i talk with about wigs they still think wig is like you you have to use it if you have a hair loss or something like that never thinking about a way that it can be expression right so you can end up changing your hairstyles and this and that and without matter of minutes instead of me being as a hairdresser and working behind a chair and I know that a girl would say with black hair comes in and decided to want blonde and how impossible is that but if we have a wig we can put it on because 99% uh, of the cases the dark haired girl ends up being with the dark hair but there was just something inside her but we're gonna look more on the chapter number two number three which is wig foundation making and wig knotting because i suppose that's what you need and then uh, once you have the baby girl done you know learn how to style it and that's afterwards so i made a list of the stuff that i already have at home the things that i need i'm also out and i'm just gonna put pictures on the screen is Terilin, it's a fabric, Colnet, Galoon, Cradle. I'm gonna make that myself and let's make a separate video because they're handmade. It's basically a wooden box and in my head I'm gonna go to the local store which is in Norway, Biltima. I'm gonna pick up some, some items, I forgot the English name, and I'm gonna make it because I'm, I'm familiar with the hammer and the nails. Then a blocking pins, I do have that. I have also the small pins, blocking points. Those you can pick up at any um, like sewing magazine, magazine with like, you know, shop where you buy 
accessories when you're gonna sew pliers i have prom hair extensions tape measure i do have and i do have one from herbalife i actually didn't use it for measuring my belly but i'm gonna use it uh, for measuring wigs yeah. Chilinograph. that's like a pencil i suppose it's a softer one that you can easily draw on the lace uh that one clear nylon thread i found it in my local store i'm gonna pick that up probably uh soon hammer yes i have a hammer at home scissors all type of scissors even thinning scissors knotting hook front lace also i will have to order a lot i have some like four closures i found and i have a lot of these pieces because as you see at the back i have these synthetic wigs i've been wearing you know playing around and every time i took off the lace i never threw it out so i have quite a lot of amount just like i have this thing of for hair i've never thrown out and the, the funny thing when i was looking through my inventory i found a collection of a lot of braids and cut off hair from my hairdressing job if you're a hairdresser and you want to learn how to make wigs if somebody's coming in to cut hair length as minimum as like that never throw it out that's a hair you're gonna practice on because the hair you're gonna buy for ventilation is freaking expensive i checked it now it was like ukrainian hair is about 2800 kroners per kilo short length and then i'm gonna list the suppliers they show in this book I like european hair 100 grams was 600 dollars 6000 kroners or about 580 pounds so this is where the price is actually coming to the wig and a lot of people don't understand they buy a lot of these brazilian wigs blah 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 but it's a different hair and uh, and i think that's also another topic we need to talk about what kind of hair we need block head i'm showing you already what i've been doing yes here's what i'm like practicing block head like that i suppose if let's say you're here to sir and doll at home you can shave her hair off and use it as a blockhead either this or a wig stand or the cradle these are the things i'm gonna order and I'm just oh and matt i forgot to say that very postige.co.uk from the shops i found is maybe the most affordable for a newbie like me and then i'm gonna pick out the items i don't have it's probably lace but also you can get like from aliexpress i suppose it's not a big of a difference because as far as i have read the thing with the lace there are not many companies that produce that there are not so many factories so they all kind of buy them from somewhere else it's like let's say tape for extensions there is walkers uh, big company and they sell even to the factories who produce hair extensions in this Bambury postage they have everything I suppose I'm gonna give them a call to find out what is with the VAT if they're sending it to Norway because Norway is not in European Union and England is not in European Union anymore so so that could be the fact of VAT and stuff like that. It will be interesting to find out. I have already the things I need to practice for ventilating. I have loads of hair, old hair extensions, and yeah, this as well. If you have old tapes at home, any type of hair, and I suppose if we're gonna start it with worse quality, we're gonna practice a bit better because it's like the harder to start, the better the ending. I want to see you in these, you know, this journey, how we learn how to make a wig from a book let's learn it together let's make it happen don't forget to follow me on my social medias this may believe here on tiktok instagram this and that listing here yeah let's do it it's gonna be amazing so yeah any questions anything about getting uh just like list down below thank you for tuning in i'll see you next time at the hair basement ciao